Yep, thank you very much, and we look forward to entertaining you here in Fort Worth. Is Coach Kenny on the line? I am. I'm here. Well, congratulations on uh, another successful season at the Naval Academy. Coach, if you can kind of give us a brief uh, recap of the season to date, knowing that you got one of your biggest games uh, coming up this weekend, uh, but just kind of a, a comment about your season to date. Well, first of all, you know, we're very honored and humbled you know, to be involved with this bowl game. Uh, we're super excited about coming down to Dallas. I heard a question that asked uh, the chat about our fan and alumni base um, in the Dallas area. I know that Dallas and the, the state of Texas has been a, a huge area for us in recruiting. You know, so we're, we're excited about, I know our program is excited about coming down there. Um, you, know, and, you know, we're excited about playing a very good Middle Tennessee uh, state team. You know, if you're 8-4, uh, we recognize how hard it is to win. For, so for them to be 8-4 and four just goes to show what kind of season they had. You know, we, we're excited about our season. Um, you know, we've had some tough wins and some tough losses. Uh, we feel like we had... We're a couple plays away from actually maybe being 92 at this point, uh, but we also feel like there's some things, games we could have lost also. So, you know, we're happy to be seven and four. Uh, one of our main goals was to have beaten Air Force and going into our the biggest game of our year uh, this Saturday uh, with the chance to win the Commander in Chief Trophy outright. Um, our, our young men and our program is very excited for that. So, you know, we're, we're again grateful to be affiliated with this bowl. We're grateful for the hard work that, you know, our athletic director has done and getting us affiliated with such great bowl games, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, Coach Ken, can you uh, uh, single out any players on offense and defense, special teams that have kind of been uh, uh, like the mainstays of the Naval Academy this year? Well, on offense, you know, our, our, our team, you know, like most teams, centers around our quarterback. And our sophomore cornerback, uh, quarterback Keenan Reynolds, has had an outstanding year. Um, played some really good ball games. Um, you know, he's led us in many different things. He's uh, right now, I believe, at 26 touchdowns. He's, you know, on track, hopefully, to you know break the all-time NCAA record for uh, rushing touchdowns by a quarterback. But you know, he's instrumental in our entire offense, and he's had a great season. He got injured. And one of our games is actually a game that we lost, but he was able to come back and has played really strong. Our leader on defense has been Cody Peterson. Um, he's our leading tackler, but also our team captain on defense. And so those two, um, you know, along with a number of others, have been guys that have helped us get to this point. Uh, our only chance to compete is to be a selfless team. So, you know, there's so many guys to mention on both sides of the ball and on special teams that have helped us to get to 7-4. Uh, but we're, uh, we're a team that, you know, a bunch of hard workers uh, that are grateful for the opportunity we have uh, to represent our school in the bowl game, and you know, hopefully we'll do well. Coach, you, uh, your athletic director and yourself have mentioned Texas. Can you uh, single out any of the top players from Texas that will be competing for you in the bowl game? Well, I know, uh, you know, one of our best running backs, you know, is just you know from the Dallas area himself, Barry Staten. You know, so I know he's a, he's really excited, you know, about coming coming back and play. Um, I'm just off the top of my head. I know one of our D linemen, who D lineman uh, Aaron Davis, is you know from Dallas area, uh, from the Texas area, um, but he's been a very good player for us. He's actually more I think from the Houston area. Um, Quincy Adams, uh, Noah Copeland, another one of our running backs from the San Antonio area, uh, you know, very good football player. He's been injured, but it's been a you know two-year starter for us, and hopefully he'll be ready to come back uh, and be ready in this in this football game. Coach, we have talked a little bit about your preparation between now and the uh, the bowl game uh, December 30th. What uh, what's on tap? Obviously, you got a game this weekend, but uh, what will you do after that? Well, like I said, all of our our focus preparation right now is on the Army Week. Uh, this is a big game for us, uh, the biggest game for us this season. So, you know, that's where all of our focus. But once that's over, um, you know, we'll start our preparation, you know, for Middle Tennessee. Uh, you know, it's it's tough for us, you know, quite frankly. It's, bowl games are, are hard for us just from the standpoint of we're in finals. 
uh, and normally the bowl games that we play are, you know, in, in the late December. So, you know, we got to find a way to, you know, carve out time to practice. Uh, our obviously our school, like most schools, uh, like all schools, takes takes academics very important. Uh, so, we just got to make sure that our guys are prepared for the finals. Uh, try to make sure we get uh, some practices in here. We'll maybe get four practices in next week. Um, I see them the following week after the Army uh, game practice here, and then we'll get a couple practices um, there once we get to Dallas or uh, Fort Worth. But you know, the thing that's helped us a little bit, we've been playing this whole time. Where most schools have been done, um, you know, we've been we've been going this whole time and practicing. So hopefully, you know, practicing this whole time, getting ready for Army, we'll also make sure that we're prepared for you know Middle Tennessee. Coach, once you get to Fort Worth, uh, um, what will you be doing? I mean, uh, uh, do, you, are, do you change your procedure and practices, or do you have most of uh, your planning in prior to arriving? Well, uh, it's actually a great question. You know, and so quite honestly with you, uh, some of it's a little vague right now because we weren't really sure who we were going to play. You know, so, you know, some of that stuff as far as preparing for our opponent was a little bit vague. So what we'll normally have have happen at this time, we'll have our graduate assistants, you know, start to break down tape of, of Middle Tennessee and look at some of those stuff so we can start to formulate some game plans. Because the hard thing about it, again, we we finished the Army game this Saturday, then actually most of our guys will be on the road recruiting. Uh, so I don't know if there's any team in the country that will have practices where really we might have three guys at practice where everybody else is on the road recruiting. So our coordinators will be here getting ready for the game, uh, while most of our coaches will be out on the road recruiting. Really the first time we'll practice together uh, will be in Fort Worth, uh, but it won't be our full squad. It will just be our, our bowl team that will be there along with all the coaches. So the first practice that we'll have together, our entire staff, our, uh, those that will be playing in the game will be in Fort Worth. So we'll maybe have three practice, three or four practices there. Okay, any co- uh, questions for the Naval Academy coach, Coach Kenny? Yeah, hey, Ken, uh, Gene Long, how you doing? How are the Washington Post? Um, Ken, hey. Kind of a two-part, hey, Ken, kind of a two-part question for you. Um, is it difficult to kind of balance the excitement of knowing you're going to a bowl game, given that this week, obviously, you're preparing for a serious, obviously a serious game against Army, and the other part to that is, you know, for, for the players having finals this week, too, for the first time leading up to an Army game, that must add another layer of, you know, challenge for you as a coaching staff. <laughs> um, it's it's um it's it's not hard. Uh, you know, just from the standpoint, all of our focus right now is on Army. As excited as we are, knowing that the, the bowl game, we know that that's coming. Now that we know who our opponent is, we already knew where we were going. As soon as we became bowl eligible, you know, we knew we'd be going to Fort Worth. So we were very excited. You know, guys, you know, start to look at some uh, preparations as far as being in that area, looking at the stadium, practice facilities. So that's stuff we knew about. You know, now we find out who our opponent is. But all of our, our football and focus and preparation right now are on the Black Knight. And it, and it has been tough. This, is, um, this week is going to be unique, um, you know, preparing for our biggest game, having finals. And so – I don't know. Ask me after the game. Hopefully, hopefully we'll win. But this is this, this is hard. I mean, this we're you know been planning for a couple of weeks now. Try to trying to get in practice time that doesn't uh, conflict with any uh, exams. Um, and in all my 16 years of being here, this is the hardest uh, we're going to have schedule-wise getting ready for Army. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. Thank you, Ken. Good luck this week. Thank you, Jim. Any another que- another question for the coach? Uh, yes, Tim. This is Troy again. Okay. Coach Troy, Armed Forces Bowl. Um, when you go to bowl games, you're always looking for a, a different experience. Is this your? Is this maybe his first bowl game in Texas? I know it is in this area. Oh uh, yes, because our, our other bowl game uh, we played in Houston. You know, okay, we yeah. like uh, like Chet said, we. Um, you know, we played SMU, have been in the Dallas area, and I've been to the Dallas Fort Worth area. You know, for recruiting. Um, you know, we're we're excited just from the standpoint that we know, you know, football is huge. If you know the number one sport in in high school football in Texas, 
And so we're excited about the opportunity to continue our roots in recruiting in Texas. So, you know, for us as a staff and as a program, we're, we're really, really excited about being able to come to Fort Worth because, uh, you know, the Metroplex in that area is an area that we want to continue to recruit very heavily. Okay, another question for the coach. Coach, obviously in Texas, uh, uh, a big name is Roger Sabak. Uh, is he involved with your program in any way? Well, you know, the, anybody that's met Roger recognizes what a humble man that he is. And for all of his accomplishments and everything that he's done, both on and off the field, you know, he tries to stay in the background a little bit. He's not one of those guys that's, you know, going to be in the front and tooting his horn, so to speak. Uh, but, I, you know, he constantly sends me emails. If he's ever in the area, uh, you know, he may send a note or something. But um, he's always very supportive of sending email and text, you know, to congratulate our program. Um, but he supports us from afar. Uh, he's very, very involved with in our program. But he's a guy that, you know, like I said, doesn't want to be the guy in the front. You know, you know, tooting his horn or anything. He's just a great supporter, but doing it from afar. With Brant Ringler, are you still on the phone? Yes, sir. Brant, uh, Roger will be speaking at the luncheon on the 27th. Am I correct on that? That is correct. Okay. And again, that will be the morning that we have a, a press conference with the two competing coaches, and then the luncheon is what 12 noon, right? Uh, yes. At, at the Omni. Okay. Any other questions for the Naval Academy coach? Yes, I got a couple. Uh, Ken, this is uh, Tom Crager with the uh, Murfreesboro Daily News Journal. This um, with you guys being still in kind of game mode and, and, and still playing right now, is there is there an advantage to that where you're not, you know, you're not off for a couple of weeks before you go back to practice? Is is there an advantage there for you guys? Well, I think the advantage that helps us, we've been in game mode practicing, uh, but I think the one disadvantage now, you know, now Middle Tennessee knows who they're playing, so all of their focus now can go on to us. You know what I mean, where, you know, they might have been off or, you know, maybe they're lifting and doing certain things. I'm not really sure what Coach Tosca has been doing. But, um, you know, our focus has been on Army. We've been playing. So I think that's good as far as practicing and staying in game mode. mode. But the hard part is, you know, we can't really focus on the Blue Raiders yet. So uh, that's that's tough. But, you know, we got to, you know, obviously get through this game and then, you know, Take, make a quick turnaround and, you know, try to get ready for a good, you know, Blue Raider football team. Coach, you're very familiar with this uh, Middle Tennessee area as far as your geographic area. I think there's like five five of uh, – I think there's seven kids from Tennessee on the squad, five from the Middle Tennessee area. Of course, your quarterback is from the Nashville area. Just Can you talk about, you know, playing a team – I mean, this is a team from that area, but you, there's a lot of – I'm sure these kids – several of those kids know a lot about MTSU as well. Well, it's uh, – you know, it's been a great for area for us for recruiting, and the guy who started that recruiting for us is our, our assistant coach, uh, Ashley Ingram. Well, he just kind of said, you know, we felt like everybody was in Atlanta, uh, but, you know, there are some good football players in Tennessee. Uh, you know, we started with Nashville, but then we you know, we got some kids from Memphis, got some kids from Knoxville. We got some guys from all over the state of Tennessee, but, we feel like it's an area that's been uh, under-recruited, so to speak. It's a place that has very good football. they are good grades. Uh, people are patriotic there. So, you know, we're excited. And we know that guys on our team, uh, you know, will be excited to play guys that they've either played with or played against in high school. You know, it'll be exciting. But we know there's some good football players because there are some guys, you know, over the years that we've looked at uh, that, you know, ended up going to Middle Tennessee that, that, that we didn't get. And finally, Coach, um, Stephen Rhodes is on this team, a defensive uh, defensive end for, for Middle Tennessee State. Uh, he's a former Marina, and he, he kind of was in national news early, before the season started when he was uh, he had to get uh, uh, he had to get approval by the NCAA to play. Were you did you follow that story at all? I know it was kind of a national story for for a few days. Uh, were you able to follow that story at all? I was able to follow it. And uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that, that the NCAA made the right choice. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just, uh, I was like, holy smokes, what are they doing? I mean, there's sometimes there's so many rules and things, and I'm glad that common sense prevails. <laughs>